we doing this to our poor M and M's? Like, what is? <laughs> I know. Uh, I was listening to because you had um, uh, this this Asian lady. She was talking about like why they need to, and I was like, let me listen to this. Like, why they need to redo the M and M's? And I was like, I can't believe she's saying this with a straight face right now. I she's know. like, we need all different sizes, inclusivity, and I'm like, what? You have with nuts and without nuts, like. <laughs> Let the green. I guess everyone was panicking. They're like, "Oh shit, we only have one girl M M&M. and M." Well, technically, uh, there's two. There's the brown one too. She's a girl. Was she and, always a girl though? Yes, and this is okay. well. I don't know about always, but at least within the past, I don't know, ten years. But here's here's my theory on it. Okay, because the green M M&M, and M, they like change her whole demeanor. They give her the. They take away the flesh colored. Fun. Yeah. yeah. Well, she was originally created when she was first created. I remember the commercials were very much focused on the fact that men found her attractive. Because I remember, I, I I don't have like super vivid yeah, memories, but I remember guys swooning over her, her in their mouth and yes. let her melt. They were swooning over her essentially. So she was designed like that. You know, she was hot. Like, okay, this is great. And the brown M M&M, and M. So while they've made these changes with the green M&M, the brown M&M, she's allowed to have flash colored arms and high heels. But here's the difference is the brown M&M is at the very least lesbian because I don't remember yes, when this happened. Purple, green and brown. Yeah. I saw a picture of them. Sitting yes. On a, on the you beach. remember. And so all I can figure and, and all I can figure is that's why that's allowed with her, but it's not allowed with the green one because the green one, even though they were together, so the green one's at least by, or even if she's not, at least men are attracted to her. And the and green M&M &M has, at, at this point, absolutely fucked all the other M&Ms. You know what I mean? Like, they've been in a bag together for how long? She was, like, sexy, and everybody, it's a bunch of dudes, like, and then the brown one, I didn't know her gender either way. Or but I was like, for sure, she's banged everybody in that bag. <laughs> or they at least wanted to. And she like teased them and she's like, nope, look. What yeah, you yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's Stimps. that's all I can figure with it is it's just like the reason why they demonize these uh, attractive or or sexualized women is is only if if it's men who find them attractive, if it's the other way around, it's okay. But it's the male gaze that's evil to them. It also limits what women can find attractive. Like mm -hmm. what the a big sloppy fat Lizzo. Everyone's like, go girl, you're so empowering. Oh, you're full of comorbidities. This is so brave. Like whatever it is. But it's like, what if you're a woman who doesn't find that attractive? Well, then it's like, it's so limited. It's like, this is a very li uh, limiting way to view attractiveness really right and, and, and like what for what about the women who like to express themselves like in a very feminine way are they mm -hmm. wrong that doesn't sound accepting to me well they seem to be okay if they're getting money for it that's that's their that's their double standard there is it's like okay well if men are paying you to look at you like that it's fine but if you just exist and men are attracted to you and you're okay with it then it's a problem. Then you're being a pick me. Like, like right. I hate the idea that you yes. could get yourself looking like good. Like I, I realized over the years I had my hair very short. I have it longer now. I think I mm -hmm. look better with it long. It was blonde. Now it's red. I mean, I might still change the color. The point is it's like, all right, there were, there were for a while. I was like, I think dresses look better on me than pants. Now I'm slowly getting back into pants. Like the point is it's like, uh, why can't you uh, be allowed to express yourself how right. you want? And then if, if, I happen to be basically a woman who likes to express myself pretty feminine, mm -hmm. but no one's making me do that. No man is making me do that. The idea that I could only be doing this is for male attention and male approval is like the most unfeminist thought you could have. It is. It really is. It's like, oh, well, unless you are parroting our approved narrative, you you can't have a unique thought of your own. Surely that's for other men because women can't think for themselves. Yeah. <laughs> that's basically what that's saying and it's like right you have to be an angry land whale or like you can look however you want but you you know you have to be charging whatever x amount on only right. fans or you better be getting paid girl but like, yeah so what we can only be land whales or sex workers like that doesn't seem very accepting that seems right. very limiting and i think that you know these this is this whole narrative is coming from people who used to call themselves so inclusive or want to act like they're so inclusive and it's like well if you're so inclusive i get it i get it if you want to 
you know, appreciate different body types, this, that, and the other, but that doesn't mean completely demonizing one of them. If you're going to appreciate different body types, you got to appreciate that hyper femme, you know, sultry type as well. That goes with it. It almost seems like, I don't know, like there's a sourness to it. Like, well, it's like they know what commercially hot is or they know what mm-hmm. conventional attractiveness looks like. And it's almost like nobody can be that. You right. know, it's like no nobody like we all know what's hot, but yeah. like we're pretending that we don't. And it's mm-hmm. like what nobody can get attention. I don't know. It's it's kind of insane. I try to I've tried to like talk about this in a logical way. And there's you just can't because it's illogical. And right. and it's it's um, inspired by, I think, like mental illness and feminism and i can say that because i was <laughs> yeah. part of that gang you know and i i fell into it to some degree at one point too and but i think for me the reason that did that is you know i grew up in a christian household i'm christian now um but unfortunately part of that is being exposed to like the pharisee type christians as well who are the self-righteous holier than thou type that obviously don't re- reflect all christians but i think i kind of reached a point to where i had enough of that And I was sick of it. And so then I did kind of, you know, hey, let me turn over to this other side a little bit. Let's see what's going on over there. And then uh, what seemed like they were so accepting and 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 so inclusive and and caring. uh, It turned out that they were even bigger bullies than what I had experienced on the they're, other yeah, side. They're both tricked on either side. Like I had, I saw you had one tweet that was like, mm. even looking at a woman in a lustful way, you've already committed adultery. Like just right. by a and look. Well, and the thing is with that is people, people take that out of context and you've seen that taken out of context within, um, you know, the more Pharisee type Christians is that, is that when Jesus told the, the men that, that, Oh, well, then that means it must be the woman's responsibility. But that that goes even against what Jesus said. Jesus said to Jesus told the men that so that the men would control themselves, not uh-huh. to tell women to cover up. You know, oh, it's, it's, it's all of our responsibility. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's all of our responsibility. Like what you dwell on and what you think about, that's on you and, and, and how you view other people. And so if you're going to view someone as nothing more than an object and you're not going to view them as a human being well that's your fault ain't it (laughs) you know and you can see by like muslim culture the women are totally covered up and it's Mm -hmm. like the men are kind of like not responsible for their actions in that way it's 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 100 on the woman to cover themselves up and zero percent on the guy for controlling their impulses or or like you know their behaviors and Right. Because, and even, especially in this country, like even if you dress more conservatively or more uh, demure, it's like, there's always going to be a, you know what I mean? Like there's always going to be a woman who shows a lot of skin and is hot. And it's like, and it's good. People should fucking embrace their hotness. It doesn't matter what you wear. If, if, if a guy is going to be a creep, he's going to be a creep, whether you're wearing sweatpants and no makeup or you're in a dress and all dolled up. It doesn't matter. A creep will be a creep regardless. 